somebody when I need someone's approval to make a bowel movement? How's that? So, and teachers, the, I don't know, can you? <laughs> Jokes are getting pretty old, right? I've been hearing it for about 13 years now. I think it's time for something new. understand why they treat us like prisoners, though, when half the school can't go a single class period without tweeting about something or texting someone or putting a picture up on Instagram. It's like, you're already at school. Just take advantage of it. Learn something. Why not? Nobody cares that you got Starbucks. What does your chocolatey frappuccino have to do with anything? And why do I have to look at a picture of you and your boyfriend making out every man crush Monday? It's disgusting. <laughs> Take your PDA elsewhere. I think you know who you are. <laughs> and can we stop with all the complaining? I feel like that's all anybody does anymore is whine and complain. Your lives aren't that bad. Right now, there's a homeless man sleeping in a cardboard box next to a dumpster, and you're sitting there tweeting about how cheap your parents are off your iPhone 5S that they got you. And yeah. They spent the extra money to get you to five us, so you could talk to a robot throughout the day and ask it dirty, weird questions. <laughs> Please. Anyone who uses Siri legitimately is a living length the right way, let's be honest. I don't know. It's not just the social networking sites that have a problem with our generation. It's, it's the things we care about, the things we talk about, too. I mean, what was the biggest news story last year? That serious citizens started rebelling against the government, and their government has killed thousands and thousands of innocent civilians, including children, with the help of chemical weapons? But Miley Cyrus got a haircut. <laughs> you remember how big of a deal that was? Hey, did you hear Miley Cyrus got a haircut? Oh my god. No way. Are you serious? You're lying. Tell me you're lying. No, I'm not lying. I saw it on E! News. Everything on there is always true. <laughs> oh, gee. I can't believe it's the world ending. You think she'll be able to pull it off? Well, I'm sure not going to form my own opinion. We're just going to have to wait and see what Cosmo tells us. <laughs> oh, screw what Cosmo tells us. I think she could do it. She has the perfect body. And have you seen her eyes? I have. Thousands of times in many different pictures. I know every detail about her life. Her birthday is November 23rd, 1992. Her real name is Destiny Hope, given to her by her parents who hoped she would achieve greatness. She moved to Tennessee when she was eight. Her favorite chick is Baja Blast, but only during the afternoon. Don't ever try to give it to her at night, because my room will have it, okay? She woke up like a wrecking ball, all right? <laughs> I know. The school's taught me anything, it's how to Google something. <laughs> I just don't get the whole craze over celebrities. It's like, worry about yourself before you worry about what that person you don't know will never know and who doesn't know you is doing. Except for Jennifer Lawrence, worry about her. Because let's be honest, that one was a goddess. Just an FYI, all guys named the name in case you didn't know, which would be a surprise, Jennifer Lawrence plays the naked blue lady in all the X Men movies. You're welcome. All right, moving on. Um, girls in here tonight, it seems like I've only been, a, been attacking you so far. I apologize. Because guys, let's be honest. We, we care about some pretty stupid stuff, too. Like sports. I'm a hypocrite for saying that because I play sports. I watch sports all the time. But to me, if you dislike someone solely based on the fact that they like a different team than you, you're stupid. 
Hey, screw you for liking the Packers because you're from Wisconsin and I like the Bears because I'm from Illinois. Screw you, buddy! You realize the fan system is just based off of where you live or who your parents like, right? Unless, of course, you're a Fairweather fan, in which case everyone hates you, Drake. <laughs> and to me personally, I think football is just like modern day gladiators when you think about it. 60,000 people just pour into a massive stadium and scream at the top of their lungs for the world's best, strongest, fastest athletes to murder each other. For a ball, if you can call it that. It's terrifying. The Saints defense had a bounty system at one point. Do you know what that means? Their coaches were offering the defensive players extra money to try and hurt certain people. I would be horrified to play in the NFL. Could you imagine being quarterback and seeing Ray Lewis staring into your soul from across the line of scrimmage? Let me put that into perspective for you. See, Ray Lewis is a 6'1", 240-pound, pure muscle middle linebacker who was accused of murder. <laughs> but of course, he wasn't guilty because he could afford an expensive defense attorney. Apparently, murder being a crime doesn't apply to superstars. Just ask O.J. Simpson. He'll kill you. I mean, I'm Tell you, tell you. All right. Right, Lewis. Yeah. Did you imagine that murder on top of you in a fumble pileup, rustling for the ball, and he just goes, "I did it." <laughs> you can have the ball, man. You can have the ball. This guy's crazy. <laughs> Even after all the social networking sites, the fake e news, and the Sports, it's, it's the real news too that's a problem, I feel like. Have any of you ever watched the news? It's depressing. All they talk about is murder and crime. I don't think I've ever finished watching the news and thought to myself, wow, I think I'm going to leave my doors unlocked tonight. Because <laughs> I feel safe. Hey mom, yeah, don't, don't feel the need to lock up tonight. There are only like 27 murders in Rockford an hour ago. It's just bad news after more bad news. Then they cut to commercial. <laughs> Hi. I'm Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> and for the next five minutes, I'm going to show you pictures and videos of abused animals. <laughs> Yes, you did lose the remote. <laughs> it's just a dog without arms or legs flopping around the arms and shaking hands. We get it, Sarah, we get it. Just please take it away. Let me see my mother. Let me see my Unfortunately, the three little girls that were kidnapped last night are not. You're just sitting there like, anything good ever happen here? Is this why we take a moment of silence every day in school for no specific reason? Because everything sucks? <laughs> this just it, folks. We finally got a bit of good news that might just make you forget about all the horrible stuff I just told you. Twinkies aren't going to be extinct anymore. Oh, there is a guy! <laughs>